guys welcome back again to my channel how are we all doing do want to subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to turn your post notification on so you'll be the first one whenever i put out a new video this video is about how i don't like Ghanaians. remember this is not me generalizing it this is me sharing my personal experience with people i've been with six years now and i've decided mm, i'm not doing this again with you guys okay contrast i still have a Ghanaian family friend who i respect so much he's my husband's friend and we are so cool okay so that aside let's dive into why i don't like few of them i have this with and why i don't think it's necessary to have any hime Ghanaian friend anymore one of the major problem i have with them is that they are always in an, in competition with each other with you with whoever it is there's always this unhealthy competition going on we are friends but they are secretly in competition with each other i'm dressing up because i want to know how another person will feel about my dressing i'm not dressing up because i want to feel good in it or feel comfortable in it i'm dressing up so that i will oppress the next person fine i'm not saying that we can't see this kind of thing in nigeria situation and all that but it was so unhealthy being in nigeria and being in the midst of all this at a point every time i feel that did i do anything wrong because today you're talking with someone and tomorrow she sees you and she will gladly pass you without even saying hello to you or without even doing as if they know you from anywhere. So being friends with them, I always feel like, ah, did I do anything wrong? What did I do? Did I have to offend this person? But I talked to you yesterday, you know, that kind of situation. At a point I felt that it's not necessary and I shouldn't I shouldn't be in this kind of situation. I'm an evil girl, no money, no money, no money, yeah. Anything that doesn't bring money or anything that doesn't add value to my life, please take me out of it. I am not interested. So that is why I withdraw from them. So there is this particular girl that whatever is happening, she's in the middle of it whatever that is going on with anybody she is in the middle of it like ga, ga, ga. there is nothing you will there is no but was both that happen that her name will not be mentioned inside why i said she's dumb is because a married man walked up to her and told her hi i wish i met my wife before you and she actually felt for that she fell for that got pregnant and had a baby for that man thinking the man will live the wife with the two children and come and marry her mm. she was lucky even with her child actually she got a nigerian man that married her you know when she went back to ghana to do her traditional marriage and all that called her one day and she was like she can't wait to come back and flaunt her ring the same way people are flaunting their rings i'm like hey jesus christ help me so why you're getting married is just to come and flaunt your ring <laughs> you don't know what marriage is at this point because marriage is a lot marriage is a lot and flaunting ring is just the least of your problem another thing i notice about them is that Ghanaians don't take responsibility of their wrongdoings they also try to blame nigerians for everything that happens to them personal experience yeah this Ghanaian guy that used to be close to us we always come to us and be telling us things and be saying this nigeria this nigeria this nigeria this nigeria in this one we cared nigerians we cared nigerians i'm like is this guy okay are you okay do you know that i'm a nigerian also like, do you actually remember that you are talking to a Nigeria? So I thought about it. I'm like, so whenever you are not in their midst and they are, they are in their group, Ghanaian group, this is how they refer to us. This is the kind of, the kind of names they call us. This is kind of things they do. Because how do you forget that you are talking to a Nigerian at this point and you are saying Nigerian people are stupid, Nigerian people are this, Nigerian people are this, Nigerian people are this and come to think of it everything you're saying while i'm looking at it and listening to you everything is actually your fault how do you stay and your car paper expired and you cannot go and renew it and police catches you you are blaming nigerians how 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 is how how is that a nigerian problem now how is that a nigerian problem now also a Ghanaian guy 
was having issue with the wife. Remember, both of them are Ghanaians. And the lady was like, she's not mine again and all that. So she left the guy and went to go and date a Nigerian man who is also married with two wives. So she's like a side chick to a man that have two wives. So she said she's ready to marry as as third wife, third wife at that point. And the guy was so angry with this Nigerian guy. Look, I'm not saying that what the guy, the Nigerian guy did is right. No, you also know they are family friends. You know, these people used to visit each other and all that. They are family friends. So whatever he did is also wrong. But what she did is also wrong. So I expected him to blame the two of them. But at this point, he's not blaming the wife for anything. He's hit. Nigerian guy, ha! Ah, that Nigerian guy, that Nigerian guy, that Nigerian guy. I'm like, do you actually know that it's your wife that left you and went to, you know, date this guy? Okay. As the story is even going now, the guma and I pursue the Nigerian guy. Not the Nigerian guy pursue her, and you are still blaming the Nigerian guy. You're not even blaming your wife. For saying she's not, even, she even still say I go, I don't leave you, I don't do again. No, I go marry him as dead wife. You are still blaming Nigeria. So sometimes I feel they don't take responsibility of whatever uh, is going on with them. They just push it to Nigeria and just, you know, blame Nigerians for whatever they are passing through. This is my personal experience I've had with them, and I've come to conclusion that maybe being fair with Ghanaians is not my is not my portion. But then let me know in the comment section if is that if that is right or am I wrong? Because this particular one that is very, very close to me and before you know it, she will block you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I did up to today. She blocked me. Like I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I cannot I cannot figure it out. I have I have thought about this up and down center and beside. I cannot figure out what I did to her. She just blocked me. This is somebody that I used to she have a business that I help her sometimes to do the Instagram reels, you know, uh, edit her videos and all that, teaching her how to do Instagram reels and how to promote her business on Instagram and TikTok. All of a sudden, I woke up one morning, I wrote, I wrote her, and I, I have been blocked. <laughs> I was blocked. I don't know what I did. So it's kind of strange. Sometimes I feel they behave so strange, but I still have a lovely girl. That lady, I'm, I'm, I'm not close to her, like, per se, close to her, but then she carries herself with a lot of respect, and I respect her. Like, she's the only person I can say she's not, maybe she's because she's married to a Nigerian, but she doesn't behave like every other person I've dealt with. So that's my experience with Ghanaians. And I just wanted to put it out here to know if have you experienced this kind of thing before. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Do where to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to turn your post notification on so you'll be the first to know whenever I put out a new video. Thank you guys for your constant support on this channel. You guys have been so amazing and I love you all. Bye-bye.